Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome, welcome to Juniper. It's six fifteen, and I'm seeing this Juniper here now, and I had a hundred percent conviction that this would close. Um, and get back down to the low of the day. I think this just ran out of day. This is just completely just ran out of time here, or it would have actually broken and come down here to the 1870 number. Look. So this was a late trade for me today, and I, I think some people uh, just, you know, lost conviction in it once it did this little tally thing here in the 15, and people in the room took it off. But I knew it would go down to the low. I just knew it would go down to the low, and there it is. Look at this beautiful level of resistance in this. This is amazing. And this is just, this stock moves. That's why, and this was traded by machines. That's why I did this tally thing here. But you know what? It had chances for an ad and another ad, and you could have reduced the stop here. And actually, I did reduce the stop on this. Um, which was a nice thing, and it rolled all the way down and, and broke the low, but it just really ran out of time by the time it broke low. Uh, I did not do this one out of the gate, but you could have done this out of the gate. I saw the setup. I just did it later. This was a really, really good move here. Let's go back. And what I liked about the second move was it was like the 100% conviction because it had the confirmation. It had the confirmation that the stock wasn't going higher. Look at this here. Gap down in the morning, never looked back, never took a breath of life, and fell all the way uh, a, a dollar, basically a dollar down in here into the 10 o'clock period. Beautiful move. Boop. Look at this. Even could have lowered the stop on this one here. Really nice move in Juniper today. And it's not often that I trade late trades or in the afternoon, but I guess, you know, yesterday I traded in the afternoon, and today I was in a late trade. So, you know, sometimes you get in late trades. Uh, there are lots of beautiful big moves, though, that most of the moves do happen in the morning. But every once in a while, you'll get a gap that's just so strong that it wants to close looking like this, where actually the low of the day is near the close um, of the bar. And so that's where the ones that provide then the afternoon moves. So this is Juniper. This was a nice uh, play of the day in the Stock Swiss Show trading room. And if you uh, play this over and over and over and over and over again, you got pain today. Sometimes you can take a trade a bunch of times in a day to play it on through. Again, total, utter, just complete weakness. Market didn't uh, hurt this today or help this today. This market allowed this to do its thing. In the end, though, it's really, really nice to see stocks just fall off a planet. That's what I like. I like to see lots and lots of red. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you'd like more information on the upcoming GAP class, it's this weekend, October 26th and 27th. Feel free to email me. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.